Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the Mission San Juan Capistrano. I'm going to take one finger on the left and put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line all the way across the bottom of my paper. Then I come on the left hand side and I take two fingers and underneath I put a dot. From that dot, I'm going to draw a curved line down on the left, go back to the dot, a curved line down on the right. I come back to the left and I draw a little straight line out on the left and a little straight line out on the right. I come back to the left again and I draw a curved line down on the left and a curved line down on the right. Come back to the left and draw a straight line all the way down, connect, come back on the right, draw a straight line down connect on the right. Now I put a little dot on top of my first dot and I'm going to mimic the line, draw again, curve line, straight line, curve line, straight line, connect, go back to the dot, curve line, straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. I come back to the left and I'm going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, connect on the left and a straight line down, straight line over, connect on the right. I come back to the left and a little bit inside of that corner I'm just going to draw a straight line down on the left and a straight line down on the right. Inside the middle of this space I'm going to draw one more straight line down, connect on the left, one more straight line down, connect on the right. I come over to this little indentation and I'm just going to draw a baby circle and a little loop on top on the left and a baby circle and a little loop on top on the right. I come back to my dots and I draw a curve line over, straight line, straight line. In the center straight line up, curve line over, straight line down, connect. And I'm going to draw it again, straight line up, curve line over, straight line, connect. Right underneath that I draw one baby circle and then I draw another baby circle inside. I come all the way down to the bottom and I draw a straight line up, big curve line over, straight line down, connect. Now I'm going to draw it again. Straight line up, big curve line over, straight line down, connect. I come on the left hand side and draw one straight line, jump over, draw another straight line on the right. I come back on the inside and I'm just going to draw one, two straight lines on the left, one, two straight lines on the right. If you can fit them in. Now I come to this upper section I'm going to draw my lines again all the way across if you can fit them in. Now I come down and I draw a straight line across, a little curved line in the middle and then straight lines going all the way around. Then I just draw a straight line, connect, and then I draw a straight line on the left, straight line on the right, put a little straight line and a little straight line. Right next to that on the left hand side I'm just going to draw a skinny rectangle on the left and a skinny rectangle on the right. Now I come back up to the right hand side and right here at this section I'm just going to draw a straight line out, straight line down, connect, and I'm going to come back up and draw another straight line across 
and another straight line inside the center. Now I'm going to draw straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. I'm going to come in a little bit more, draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. And right about here, I'm just going to draw a curve line up, curve line over, connect. Come back to the top and draw a curve line down, connect. Right at the very top, just draw a little curve line, little curve line on the inside, straight line, straight line. This line right here, I'm going to bring down. This line right here, I'm going to bring straight down, connect. Now I'm going to draw another straight line and another straight line across at the top of each one of those boxes. If you have room, straight line, curve line, straight line, connect, come down, straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. If you have room, draw a straight line across, get that little triangle in there, straight line across, little triangle on the inside. Come all the way down, and we're just going to draw a straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, straight line in the center, one, two little straight lines. I think that's all. This one's a little complicated, as all the missions are. Now I'm going to come back down to the very bottom and I'm just going to draw some straight lines for stairs, however many you can fit in. And we're going to add a little bit of vegetation. So over here, I'm just going to go up, down, up, down, up, down on the left. I'm going to come over on the right, up, down, up, down, up, down, connect. I go back to the left and up high I'm going to put a dot. And I'm going to go curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. Curve line out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. Curve line out, in, out, in, connect. Then I'm just going to draw straight lines and if they crash into my bush, that's okay because it's an overlap. And I come on the left hand, I mean the right hand side, and I'm just going to draw straight line, curve line up, curve line up, curve line out, curve line out, straight line down. Now I'm going to fill in with just some wibble wobble. These are my vegetation. Wibble wobble. Wibble wobble. Doesn't have to be exact, obviously. Wibble wobble, maybe one more. Okay. I think that's it. Let's see how we're going to color this one in. Okay, not a lot of color on this. So these accents over here, these columns and these little framing sections. I'm going to do these all gray. Okay, the little round thing up here, these little baby circles, these are all decorative elements that should be gray going across. Then, open, don't forget your door, this should all be gray. Then I'm going to come in and do my doors brown. These are doors. Tree trunks brown. And at the very top my dome can be a do double color. A little bit of red with a little bit of brown over it. It's not quite red, it's not quite brown, it's kind of like a burgundy or a mix then this little section up here should also be, let's make that gray. Okay. Come down, these are all green. Bushes, trees, leaves, and this is all green. Palm tree, bushes. Then at the very, very bottom, I'm going to do my stairs brown going across 
And then I'm going to take my gray and do a loop-de-loop -loop across the bottom. And for the top background, I picked an indigo just to kind of give my background a little bit of a different color as opposed to the other ones that we've been doing or I've been drawing. So I'm going to do this one a little indigo color. And I'm going to look one more time because I forgot my bells, which also, if you can fit that in, should be green. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's Mission San Juan Capistrano all colored in. It's really a beautiful mission. Okay, bye-bye.